Hey, it's your boy, Picante Nino, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Acts of Destruction, you guys. It is a sleeper skill that we are all just missing out on. So we're just going to swap over Wailing Beast to Acts of Destruction and your skill enhancements. And I'm going to show you guys that why we should start messing with this skill because we are missing out on so much combo potential. So let's roll the intro. Okay, so let's just start talking a little bit about Axe of Destruction. It is a skill enhancement skill that replaces your Wailing Beast. So your Wailing Beast is an extra standstill heal that basically you die through it if you use it in a 1v1. Or sometimes if you're using it in a group fight, you're not really doing anything with it other than just healing. We already have two other skills that do that with us, like Beast Roar and Ire of the Beast. Why do we need a third one? So I think it's a little bit overkill that we have Wailing Beast. So let's just start running Axe of Destruction. Before I get too, too much into the detail of what Axe of Destruction is, let me show you guys a little clip so you guys can see how crazy it is in PvP. So let's look at that clip real quick. All right, we're gonna try to kill him with Axe of Destruction. Oh, we hit him with Axe of Destruction right there. Frame one Axe of Destruction from Lava Piercer. Oh, that hit, bro. Okay, so from a normal view, it doesn't look like too much happened. I just did a Frenzy Destroyer and it knocked someone down. But to a person who's been playing Zerker for about 8 years like I have, that is the most insanest thing you could do with Axe of Destruction. Because usually whenever you go out of Lava Piercer, you have to do an unprotected skill. I even went over this in my video of how to fight a Zerker. Example, this is my video of how to fight a Berserker. Look it, I said this about since May, so almost a year from now. There's this skill called Lava Piercer, whenever a Zerker just runs at you like a maniac. It's protected, but the thing is, right after it ends, you could punish them pretty hard because there's a small little gap that is not protected in Lava Piercer, which is pretty crazy. And I definitely did get hit out of this all the time. So whenever you see a Zerker in Lava Piercer like this, and you know they're about to end it, throw a little micro, like throw a little, what's that called? Multi-hit stiffen or, or a multi-hit knockdown or something like that. Just anything, any multi-hit CC would actually wreck this skill because a lot of Zerkers like to cancel into something unsafe after Lava Piercer. So usually whenever a Zerker comes out of Lava Piercer, we only have two options. Either you C swap, you either try to drop a damage stack or a movement stack, and then you just keep your movement up. But now we have an offensive CC poke from a Lava Piercer. There's many, many other things that we have with Axe of Destruction, but like, let's just get into the skill, man. Let's just see the skill demo. We used to have this big heal that just does nothing. It's whatever, right? We, are, we have these skills. We don't need another key. Axe of Destruction, literally, it's just a fucking... Frenzy Destroyer on a stick, okay? But what's really crazy about this is that it has a knockdown on hit, and it also has down attack. It doesn't. This skill doesn't do that much damage. So if you guys are using this for its damage, you're, you're doing it wrong. But it has a down smash. You guys see that? It has down smash. A 33% chance for a down smash. So you know what we've been missing for a CC reset combo? If you guys want to do CC reset combos, it is usually... Titan Blow Split Shot into a uh, Shooting Mobility for the Down Smashes. But guess what? We have Axe of Destruction, and it has a Down Smash on it too, so we have more options for a CC Reset combo, because you only need to land two Down Smashes after that so you get a CC Reset. Usually it's a 30% chance for you to land a Down Smash, but you have four of them, and two of them hit, like, and that gives us more options for actually more combo potential. So let's look into what is Axe of Destruction and why am I using it over Wailing Beast. So let, let's just jump into it. So the number one reason why I decided to use Axe of Destruction other than Wailing Beast is because we already have Beast Roar, Wrath of Beast, and we really don't need another heal. I already explained this three times in the video. But another thing that we do lack in is just extra poke as a Zerker. 
So whenever I want to go and just do a couple of things and try to CC someone, we usually use like either shooting mobility or we probably use a, what's I call feral stampede for the catch, right? But honestly, whenever I talk to other people, if I'm grabbing you, that means something was very easy to catch. But if I'm finding people who are very hard to catch, sometimes like I fish around with Ancient Wave. That That's literally it. And so... Ancient Wave is a really good catch because it hits mul multiple times and it has a decent amount of range. But another cool feature about Axe of Destruction is that it also has about the same damn range as Ancient Wave. A little bit less range than Ancient Wave, but it's still about comparable range. So you can honestly just like catch people off guard from just a simple Axe Wing. This move is so deceptive with its range because you just smack the ground and the only thing that I don't like about it is that the CC is very directional based compared to like, what is it, uh, what is it, Frenzied Winds? Frenzied Winds hits behind you. For example, Frenzied Winds hits 360 degrees around you, so whenever you do Frenzied Winds, it knocks down, right? But if you want to do, let's say, Acts of Destruction, it doesn't hit behind you. It's very directional based. That's what I'm trying to talk about. So whenever you are using Axe of Destruction, you kind of also want to pair it with Click to Move as well. And whatever works with Click to Move also works with Lava Piercer. It is a very, very good combo to use with Lava Piercer. So whenever you're trying to catch a rat class, you can just click to move it and boom, you just CC them. So that's what happens whenever you're just basically chasing someone with your mouse while you're in a Lava Piercer. So if someone's trying to get behind you, but you're lava piercing and you're clicking in the direction where they're going at, right? And then you use Axe of Destruction, you basically have the first couple of frames of Axe of Destruction protected from the lingering lava piercer. So that's why it's very strong to use lava piercer with Axe of Destruction. The one thing about it is that yes, you can hotbar Axe of Destruction, but I highly recommend that you guys get used to hard casting it on your keyboard. The only reason is that I put it on hotbar is because it's a lot more reliable whenever I just need it in a quick combo sense. But if you guys are going to be using this skill just out in open world or just in general, I highly recommend you guys just start hard casting it because it even works in Awakening as well. So if you're doing like Slugfest into a Blasting, you can instantly cancel from a Blasting with the hotbar activation. So the only way you're going to use this is if you are in Awakening and you just spam the hotbar so you can use it and interweave it with combos in Awakening. So like, example, if I grab someone and I go right here and I'm trying to do an Axe of Destruction combo, like, it, it is also like one of the sauciest combos you could possibly do and it also kind of gives us more uh, combo diversity. But with that, you guys, like, it, it's, that's basically the entirety of what Axe of Destruction and why I think it's so strong and why we should use it more often. The only thing that kind of sucks about Axe of Destruction is that from a regular Frenzy Destroyer, you could do this into a ground lift, right? But from Axe of Destruction, you could do this and you can't do ground lift. So you're going to have to come up with other ways to get out of it. The way how I instantly go into ground lift after that is just throwing out just a solid headbutt after Axe of Destruction. So there are kind of limitations with Axe of Destruction. I don't know why it doesn't act the same way as Frenzy Destroyer, but if a lot more Zerkers start using it, I'm pretty sure the, the balance team would just be like, yeah, let's just let's just make it act the same way as Frenzy Destroyer. So let's start messing with it, you guys. Let's start teching this. Let's let's just start going into BA and just start doing this goofy shit and just Axe of Destruction people from like Narnia without them realizing that we had an offensive option at a Lava Piercer. And with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me tell you guys what I'm going to do with the channel. So let me just clip over to this next clip, you guys. For those of you guys who made it to the ending of the video, I appreciate it. You know, please comment, you know, burrito or taco in the comment section so I know you got to this part. But yeah, those of you guys who want to follow me on Twitch, my, my description is down below. My Twitch link is down in the description below. We stream Mondays through Thursdays around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we're also trying to throw another stream on Saturdays that basically we're going to be building Gundam on Saturdays. And the one Gundam that we're going to start with is this one right here. I don't have the complete name, but we might throw it in the description. 
So around Saturday, we're gonna try to build a Gundam on stream from beginning to end. So yeah, Gundam is my passion. I don't know if you guys see behind my big fat forehead, but I have a crap ton of Gundam behind me. So yeah, it's gonna be Monday through Thursday video stuff. Saturday, Gundam building. And then we're gonna make a video almost every week from now on. So with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys. And if you guys wanna take a follow, you know, subscribe. If you guys want to support me in my livelihood and you guys just want to be nice, make sure to subscribe to the Twitch. You know, that will help me out a lot. I'm a small creator. And with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by.